Durango, Colorado, folks. We're here with the one and only T Doc. What up? At Festivus. We're gonna get into some denim. We're gonna get into some single dingles. And uh, hopefully, it's gonna be a nice little experience for everybody. We'll see you guys in. Where are we going in at? What's the diner name? Durango Diner. Durango Diner. I'm a very healthy guy and I live a very healthy lifestyle. What'd you order for breakfast? <laughs> A cinnamon roll. <laughs> Solid 8 out of 10 cinnamon roll. Do you ever hate people that just like eat the inside of a cinnamon roll? It's the best part. It is. But you gotta work for it. I don't like people that are entitled to things. I don't like people that have things handed to them. And the cinnamon roll is like the perfect illustration of that. <laughs> Brit Eaton or not? Yes, dude. Brit Eaton's special warehouse, home of probably, I'd say over a million dollars worth of clothing in here. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna look for some cool things, and hopefully he doesn't uh, upcharge me. You look good, dude. Uh, you lost dude. weight, dude. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I have not lost weight. Dude. I'm fucking fat. <laughs> oh, fuck. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's um, going on? How you doing? Well, I need about a few minutes. I'm working you with good? this guy over here. Are we here. good to go inside? Yeah, you guys do whatever the fuck. Here, here's the deal. No establishing well, shots. One, yeah. I don't want people knowing where this fucking place is. Oh yeah, okay. That's my it. fucking bank account. We are in Durango. <laughs> Coordinates are <laughs> by. <laughs> dude, this is pretty incredible. It really is. I don't know where to start. We are in the mecca, the epicenter of denim and true vintage in the United States. It's right here. I'm gonna start getting to work, finding some stuff. Probably won't find anything because Brit's probably gonna upcharge me, but I will not leave until I find cowboy boots. Yeah. Boots are deceiving. <laughs> the issue is they're narrow. I got wide feet. You know what they say about wide feet, people? Wide brain. We are headed upstairs. First floor, some gnarly stuff. Second floor, I heard that's where the real goodies are at. Come on, come inside. You can never have enough dip. Don't, don't get my shoes. The slip bags. <laughs> These might be mine. Too many cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna be straight up, like, New York kids would wear something like this and like call it a day. Oh, that's Brandon Kino. Yo, but hey, Brandon Kino. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? Kid, man, are you still looking for some penis shirts? Because we just found a penis right here in my warehouse, except it's a whole person, not a shirt. <laughs> His name is London. What's up, dude? What's going on? My name's London. Dude, I got a killer reggae band for Saturday night, six-piece yes. reggae band, and I got a lead singer, and a fashion show is going to be sick. The girls are going to be hot. I got... Really? I got... <laughs> yeah. London just touched his nipple when I said the girls are going to be hot. He goes, really? And he touched his nipple. I don't hope you got that. Festivus! Never know what's gonna happen here at the Durango Vintage Festivus. It's not a festivus, so somebody gets their ass fucking hated. <laughs> you missed them, they were just signing my ass. We're about to see a in real time negotiation session with some true vintage dealers in the master himself. Oh my Brit god. Eaton. I have one hell of a pile of you guys. That's a beautiful pile. You guys obviously got some really freaking killer stuff. This isn't like you know, low end um, stuff, right? Well, it sure has gotten quiet in this freaking place, huh? Something like this, I mean, this kind of an item here is, it's like an art piece at this point. So how do I price it? I don't know. We all know how this vintage works, right? Like, I have way more um, buyer's remorse than seller's remorse, you know? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna write the number. I'm gonna write the number down over here in the box, okay? Now, um, I have the number written down now. Now, does everybody want to go? Don't tell each other, okay? This will be kind of fun. Everybody write on a place on the floor and put your initials, okay? So of what you think this number is. We can call this what's in Brit's brain. This is what we think it is, not what we hope it is. Correct. Okay. It's not what you hope it is, it's what you think it is. Good. You can, you can make a slash and put both if you want. Yeah. What you think I'm saying and what you hope I'm saying. <laughs> okay? 
It's a Festivus. It's the kind of stuff you do at Festivus. All right, we're done. All right, what am I over here? Well, I'll tell you, it's the closest. Oh. He's low still? Yeah, he's low. So when I price that individually, it's gonna end up being 16 or $17,000. When I price it individually. When I do a bulk thing, it was 12,000. Oh. Any chance you guys are just gonna say, let's go it and fuck it and go for it? How much with the banner? I do the banner for six, if you do the whole deal. And don't think of it as a banner, think of it as two banners. Yeah, it's two. Cause it's two that are sewn together. And from what I understand, this is one that no one has ever seen. Brett, we were gonna ask if you can do 15 with the banner. So that's that's basically seventeen five down to fifteen thousand dollars. Hmm. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna stick and hold the banner for sixty five hundred because I know it'll sell. But I will do all the other stuff for ten thousand five hundred. Or I'll do sixteen for everything. I'd like to be a fifteen fifteen five for everything. I'll tell you what. Okay. Check this out. Sixteen. But you get to go over in the $50 pile and pick 10 items, any 10 more items in the $50 pile. That's 1,600 and you, um, we can do a little bit of that, but give me a pass for the vending and everything too, because I don't have that. All right, five items, a VIP pass, and 16,000 cash. Okay. All right, good job guys, deal. Well, you guys got some seriously beautiful stuff here. I mean, it's, it's always sad to see good stuff go out the door, that's for sure. Usually up there on the uh, Now what do we do? <laughs> we made it out of the gutter that is the Brit's warehouse. warehouse. Now we're headed back into the Durango campgrounds, or uh, uh, Tico festival, time. Tico time, Tico time plug. Um, and they're gonna be auctioning some stuff. We see some friends over there coming by. <laughs> Daddy! Hey, brother. Hey, brother. What do you guys think? Is it too big? Just say it. What am I? What well, does it fit your head? That's the main oh, thing. I don't like. It goes over my head. It's too big. It's a little too okay, big. Okay. All right, we have fourteen hundred. Oh, you want to go fourteen twenty-five? Sixteen fifty. <laughs> You gotta do it. Yes! 17. Oh. We have 1700. 1750. 1750. 18. 19. 19. 2000. 2100. $2,100. $2,100. $3325. $3325. $3350. She loves it. $3,375. No? All right, going once, going twice, and we're sold. <laughs> Number one. Now. I will say this, now that she's gotten that, that is a lifetime piece. That is a freaking lifetime piece. I've never seen anything like that in 25 years. And if you talk to everybody, Zip, what are you whispering? I've never seen there you go, I know it. And Zip and I are like literally the oldest heads in the room at this point. Great item, great piece, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here's the thing about this. This is an incredible piece. It's like six denim quilts. There is actually real clothing inside this quilt. Like, it was kind of a little bit of a lazy quilt. Uh, <laughs> party foul. We're gonna slowly cut to see what we have. Oh, then that's the whole We're starting at $2,000. Anybody got 2000 2000 $2,000. We're at $1,000. $1,000! We just found a leather pad something. Uh, buckle, buckle back. Buckle back. Who's Even. taking it? Who's in? Who's in? Oh, it is sold! Because it is the first fucking auction! And in a reverse auction, the first person that bids gets the fucking item! Oh, it's a fucking 20s buckle back Levi's in there! <laughs> Cause it's a festival! Cause it's a festival!
Look at that! I found this and I didn't want to open it because I was like, you know, this is a great Festivus item and look what happened. So freaking heavy and I, I didn't want to open it, right? Because that's what's so cool about the Festivus is the mystery. The mystery of the Festivus. The mystery of the Festivus. The Festivus miracle. The karma of the Festivus. That's a whole song I have. The karma. The Festivus. The karma. The Festivus. The karma. The Festivus. The karma. The Festivus. <laughs> Bear, it's bear season. Man. Holy shit, look at them motherfuckers. They're, they know where they are. Yeah, I know where they are. Hey, we might lose somebody. Hey, wait, hey, let's go. Why is the fucking bull? Look out, look out. Ah!